It doesn't work the first time because Ben doesn't like this amount of public scrutiny on his relationship and he wants to keep it private. And after all this time, what does she do? She decides to make the most public spectacle of her relationship possible and force this man into a document for someone that's just a friend. Recently visit the home of her ex-husband, Ben Affleck. While speculation that his marriage to Jennifer Lopez is experiencing difficulties and they are The speculations about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's divorce have only intensified in the past several weeks, particularly because Ben has now come out to explain why Jennifer is unable to grant him the life he desires. And in an even more unexpected turn of events, he chose to spend Father's Day with his ex-wife, which appeared to drive Jennifer over the brink. Ben talked about the changes he took to his relationship with Jennifer when they initially got back together in order to truly stay together, just months before reports of problems in paradise began to circulate. Ben mentioned in Jennifer's documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, how he made an effort to stay away from the same mistakes that caused their early 2000s breakup. In the Prime documentary, he disclosed the real reason behind their initial breakup. The level of public interest in Jen and my personal lives was a major factor in our previous breakup. At first, I was quite strict about setting boundaries with the press. Things were extremely complicated back then, with his strong boundaries about privacy and the overwhelming media attention, which caused them to call off their wedding in 2004 and go quite divergent courses. To the delight of their followers, Benifer and Ben nevertheless managed to reunite in 2021, but with some changes when Ben asked her if they could handle the spotlight differently this time. The documentary provided viewers with a great deal of insight into Ben and Jennifer's attempts to shield their relationship from the same stresses that had previously caused them to break up, highlighting the amount of work they put into keeping things together while being closely observed by the public. Ben did, however, acknowledge that it was a challenging undertaking because they had quite different lifestyles and had to make concessions. Reuniting, I stated, listen, one of the things I don't want is a relationship on social media. And after a while, I came to the realization that asking for something like this is unfair. It's similar to saying you're going to marry a boat captain and then complain about the sea because you're just two different types of individuals who are trying to figure out how to work together. Fans were given a great opportunity to learn more about Jennifer's new relationship during the documentary, which also included a discussion about her compassion film, This Is Me Now, a love story. Something that feels like a love story now, but was originally intended to be a made-up portrayal of Ben and his relationship. He disclosed that he was initially uncomfortable about appearing in a film about his private life, but that he eventually became really appreciative of the chance. I'm relieved because, as he mentioned, I don't particularly enjoy doing documentaries about my personal lives. Although it looks like I could be in this film, I'm not. I had no idea why I was frightened. The capacity to love oneself was the central theme of the film, not me. And finding Prince Charming isn't always as easy as finding that love tale. Actually, everything about their relationship seemed to be going far better than Ben had initially thought. But the dream didn't seem to continue as it appears that the two are currently moving toward an extremely real, although unofficial, divorce. Ben and Jennifer have had a difficult time juggling Jennifer's enormous prominence with their personal lives in recent months. They are said to be living apart because of the growing tension in their relationship. Jennifer has contributed to some of these rumors by endorsing an Instagram post about unhealthy relationships. The post seems to discuss how it is impossible to have a healthy relationship with someone who lacks emotional stability, integrity, communication skills, time management, and a strong sense of self. Ben's failure to attend the 2024 Met Gala with Jennifer, who is co-chairing the event, added fuel to the rumors. When it became known that the couple was experiencing marital problems, a source simply served to fuel the rumors. According to The Insider, their issues started a few months ago when Jennifer started to get busy with work and tour preparation. Ben seemed to find this somewhat overwhelming, even though he had been assured that things would move gently. The Insider said that most of the time, they are utterly at odds with one another and that Jennifer is currently very focused on her work. The couple appears to have resorted to couples therapy since things have grown so terrible. Even though he dislikes the entire humiliating process, Ben is willing to be a good sport and participate with an open-minded therapy, according to an insider who also stated that Ben believes in therapy to some extent. Ben is determined to make their marriage work despite his misgivings. The insider shared that he will never measure the success of this marriage by what transpires in the therapist's office, even though he does not think their relationship success depends only on therapy.
They genuinely thought that this may work out because Ben is known to have a higher tolerance for confrontation and is more prepared to fight for what he wants than the typical person, as was made very obvious. The documentary undoubtedly brought attention to the difficulties they initially encountered as a result of Jennifer's notoriety, but it appears that same difficulties have returned and may even seem more severe now that they have decided to reunite despite the fact that the two were acutely aware of their differences. Ben has seemingly addressed the divorce rumors, explaining why the two aren't working out right now and how he feels Jennifer can't provide him the life he wants. It even appears that the two may have reached their breaking point. While making an appearance on the inaugural episode of the fourth season of Kevin Hart's Peacock show, Heart to Heart, Ben disclosed the challenges he faced acclimating to Jennifer's enormous celebrity. However, since Jennifer is so well-known, creative, and beloved, and because she truly stands for something significant to people, I can't recall where we went with her. He highlighted how daunting this was for him and even made a comparison between their professions, saying that he doesn't think things will ever get this terrible for him. People say to me, hey, I like your movie, and then they say, ah, Jay, it's incredible, you understand what I mean. Recalling another tumultuous event with their family that entailed traversing Times Square, Ben characterized the crowd frenzy as utterly bizarre, beyond anything he had ever encountered, and further compounded by the fact that they had to accompany their children through it. He described the exact chaos it was like when he said, we're going to a play, we're getting out of the car, and I said, yeah, babe, we're going to be late. We were able to take a half-block stroll. She said nothing, but it was okay. We went out with her and the kids through Times Square, and it was amazing. He continued by saying, I don't like a lot of attention, in reference to the regular occurrence of his apparently unpleasant facial expressions and paparazzi photos, which everyone seems to bring up. That's the reason when people see me they ask, why is this dude always mad? Because some idiot stuck their camera in my face. I say, okay, let's get started. He especially underlined the distinction between private and public times, saying that he feels particularly harassed by paparazzi when they find him going about his everyday business. When I'm at a club or a premiere, you may snap my photo, and I won't mind at all. But when I'm with my kids, that's another story. These kinds of remarks have been made all the more suspect by the couple's distinct living arrangements. It has been discovered that they are not only living apart, but are also selling their combined mansion. It was all love at first, but now that reality is coming in, it's difficult. It has been challenging for everyone because they both take an active role in each other's children's lives and see themselves as one large family. Even worse, if Jennifer Lopez's Instagram is any indication, Ben has been spending a lot of time with his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner, which has apparently gotten to her. Unexpectedly, Ben even celebrated Father's Day with his ex-wife. When he was spotted walking into Garner's gate at Enclave, a lot of folks raised an eyebrow because there were rumors circulating that the two were perhaps reconciling. But Jella's Instagram post praising Ben for being a fantastic father was what really gave this reunion a gut-punch vibe. Despite rumors of their divorce, she shared a photo of him from his time at Pearl Harbor with the comment, Our hero, Happy Father's Day. Many fans speculated that Jello might have been disappointed to learn that Ben decided to spend Father's Day with his ex-wife rather than with her. Some people think it quite strange that Jello would post such a touching tribute while Ben was spending time with Garner. Despite not having children together, Ben and Jennifer each have children from their prior marriages that they bring into their blended family. Max and Emma, the twins Jennifer shares with her ex-husband Mark Anthony, are her children. Together with Garner, Ben is a father of three children, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel. They both have made it very apparent that they consider their family to be one. Furthermore, it doesn't seem good for him to be spending such a significant day with his ex when he's the subject of swirling divorce rumors in his current relationship. Others, however, emphasized that since J. Love has personally spoken with Garner, she has nothing to be concerned about. According to reports, Jennifer Garner would never end things between Ben and Jen, despite the fact that she has appeared to be highly supportive of their relationship. She is completely in favor of their relationship and is only interested in seeing him happy. Do you best think that Ben could be returning to Jennifer Garner and that Jill is sad that she lost him? Please tell me in the comments section below. And don't forget to watch this other video for more. For more, see the video below and don't forget to see this other one.